Welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the doctor of common sense. The Biden administration has just gave $55 billion or pledged $55 billion to the African leaders they met with over here. So I got bad news for you, quote, African Americans who think you are African Americans. There goes your reparations. Move to Africa, damn it. See, I keep hearing all these people saying how much they love Africa. Do you understand the type of corruption that is happening in Africa right now? If you want to see blacks mistreated, go to Africa. With your kente cloths on and everything else, I guarantee you won't even make it back. But you have all of this woke crowd over here, guilty conscious whites, guilty conscious Latinas, so-called woke progressive Positive thinking blacks telling you how wonderful Africa is. Do you understand what they do to the children and the women and the men over in Africa? It is by far one of the most corrupt countries. Just pick one. You see what they're doing over in Congo? Whole villages. They're chopping off heads, using them as trophies. You go to any part of Africa, you go to Zimbabwe. It's all completely corrupt. And guess what? Donating money to a corrupt country does not help the cause. All it does is empower them to do more human rights to the victims. There's too much corruption going on in Africa for us to be sending some damn money over. What I get tired of is these European parliament people lecturing us on what we need to be doing for these other countries. They just busted the uh, European Parliament's vice president, Eva something. I think she's from Greece, if I'm not mistaken. One member of the European Parliament has been caught selling Europe's sovereignty to Qatar. Before I dive straight into the story, let me ask you a question. What is the image of the European Parliament in your head? I'm guessing a holier-than-thou body Picking all the right battles, legislating on all the woke matters, and lecturing the world on how to conduct itself. Tonight, I will bring you a tale of the truth beneath the surface. The truth beneath the smiles and the sermons. Meet Eva Kaili. She is one of the vice presidents of the European Parliament. Kaili is from Greece. But if you recently heard her speak at the Parliament, you would mistake her for an envoy of Qatar. They got her for money laundering. She was accepting money and gifts from Qatar in exchange for influence in Europe policies. Doha's favor. So these same folks who's trying to lecture us on what we need to be doing are completely corrupt. Now, what I also found awfully funny because they got this new plan, they're calling it Agenda 2063. Now, I don't know if they're saying that this is going to be finished by 2063, which I'm sure is what they're saying. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this plan was formulated uh, by the African leaders in 2013. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, so you're telling me technically you had 50 years to do this. How's that program coming along? Because coming up on the 10-year, quote, start of the program, which will be 2023, they said they only com uh, completed 51% of what they're supposed to be completing. They haven't even completed that. Now, what's even funnier about it is that these African Union leaders are carefully controlling information about the plan. They're holding periodic training sessions to instruct the African journalists on how they should cover Agenda 2063 topics. They said we want relentless optimism. Does this sound like the American media over here? You can't make this stuff up. But the Biden administration, because you saw that great speech by Comica, the Biden administration is saying we're going to send $55 billion over to Africa because we know they're not corrupt, right? Big scale corruption or what they call corruption involving vast quantity of assets is not just indicated by the amount by who is doing it, or more by the impact and the effect on those who are affected by basic corruption. 
Now, mind you, corruption is not just when you abuse position for financial gain. There could be a general abuse of power, say, in decision-making, for example. If, if you are supposed to take certain steps towards, say, recruiting staff, and instead of going through a transparent process, you choose to bring in your friends, your sister, and all that, who may not have the capacity to do the job, he will not be able to fulfill his objective. So if he's not able to fulfill his objective, that will have an impact on other sectors of the society and the economy. You can't make this stuff up, man, I swear. These people really think you're stupid. And then they have all these so-called leaders who get together and they lecture you and tell you what this is what we need to do. This is wonderful. They had these press conferences, photo ops, telling you how great this agenda is. They had uh, the uh, Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, who started and instigated the war. You know what? I'm about to reevaluate my whole concept of the, 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 the uh, merchant of death. Because I bet you if I uh, search hard enough, I bet you any kind of money, oh, I'm not saying you're a choir guy, but I bet you any kind of money, we were going to other countries instigating wars, and he probably was selling these arms to those who was trying to defend their countries to stop NATO from coming in there. So we have all of these fakes, these Lord Austin, who's a moron to defense our secretary, Lord Austin. Praise this vision and leadership of Africans' current generations. They're completely... Have you not seen what's going on in the damn country, fool? Have you seen what's going on in Nigeria? Just pick a freaking country. Completely corrupt. And all of these, quote, African-Americans over here, the woke African-Americans over here, constantly talk about reparation for 200 years ago. Here you have your fellow Africans over here being... Their heads chopped off. Little girls being sold into slavery. Boko Horman doing whatever they want to over there. And you're over here complaining about something that happened 200 years ago that you haven't even done your research properly to even prove that you're a descendant of a freaking slave. But the Biden administration, this is why I find laughable, the president was speaking. Are you freaking kidding me? So here we have again, we always talking about we in need of money. What, 60 billion or more over to Ukraine, now 55 to 55 billion over to Africa. And we keep saying that we need IRS agents to crawl up you with a magnifying glass. Stop giving all the damn money away. Stop just spending like you lost your mind or something. Giving it to these corrupt countries that's already been proven to be corrupt. Ukraine has been proven to be corrupt. We've already established that. You can go back and look at the history. Biden administration, Trump administration, Biden administration. I mean, I'm sorry, Obama's administration, Trump, and then Biden. They all said it was corrupt, right? So why are we giving them money? This is the same argument we had with Barack Obama with Iran. Now we see that Iran is on the verge of collapse. What happened to all the damn money that Barack Obama was sending over? Plane loads of cash and everything else. But... I bet these kitty cloth wearing proud Negroes over here. Is Nancy Pelosi, did she put her kitty cloth back on? They were all taking a knee in solidarity for George Floyd. Now you're telling me that they're going to give $55 billion to this corrupt country. Go talk to the real Africans over in Africa, especially those activists, those real activists in Africa. They'll tell you how corrupt the damn government is. They'll tell you you can't, trust, you can't trust the government to believe anything they say. They say that they're being mistreated. Women are being raped. Children are being abused. People are having their heads chopped up. Say, they say giving money to these corrupt leaders only intensifies and makes their life more miserable because they're never going to see the money, fool. But you can't tell these people anything. Uh, I, I was watching this one guy on, on some video he was having, and he's, for, he's born and raised in America. Every time you see this Negro, he's talking about trying to talk on an African accent, telling me he loves everything African. Move to Africa, nigga. Hell is wrong with you. Keep saying you're so proud of why y'all still here. Go to Africa. Because they wouldn't even accept you frauds over there. This pretense of what with this la-la land, wonder how wonderful Africa is. See, this is the problem I have with these revisionists in history. Oh, I'm not saying America's never done anything wrong. I'm not saying that. But I want to focus on all these people telling me how wonderful Africa is. 
See, this is the same problem I have with the illegal immigrants who come here. You want to carry your Mexico flag. You want to carry your El Salvador flag and whatever. Move back to your freaking country. You got these Negroes over here, though, who's never even been to Africa. Here they are always talking about some motherland and all this Africa is Africa. They're wearing their kente cloths. They got planes leave every day, Negro. Why don't you get on a plane and go to Africa see how much you like it over there? Because they're not going to tolerate a lot of this BS that you f f folks be doing over here. Why do you think uh, Omar from Somalia, why the hell you think she left? She left from over there and she's over here telling her, our country is trash. Go back to Somalia then. Because they'll put you in a harem. You won't have no freaking rights up over there. Go over there. I'm so sick of these people making up all these excuses, telling me how great these other countries are. Leave. If you actually show me another country that had just as much freedom that I can go to, hell, I probably would go. But I'm not going to be in that country bragging about my country. You got these Negroes born and raised over here. You got whites born and raised over here, Latinas, Asians, born and raised over here, acting like these other countries in the European or Africa or or Venezuela, so like, for instance, Bernie Sanders, who's always talking about how great these other countries are. Why are you still here then? You freaking communist piece of trash. You why are you still here? If you're telling me that these other countries, these other countries are so much better, you've been in office uh, since the world was created, and you haven't done anything. But the Bernie Bros seem to think that Bernie has the answer. Bernie's going to give us free health care. He's going to give us drugs. He's going to pay for our college. Hey, idiot, get your freaking head out your kulu and start thinking. I'm sick of these people, the back to Africa crowd. None of, none of them, I mean, they irritate me to the fullest every time I see a video with them pretending. <clears throat> Ask him, have they ever been to Africa? David Chappelle visited. Why he didn't stay that in? Go stay there. Exactly, because it's too damn corrupt. None of y'all would stay there because y'all don't want to deal with that same foolishness that you have to deal with every day. Them people right over there are so damn corrupt, and we're going to give them $50 billion, $55 billion because they got a plan. How's that plan been working? But the reason they say they haven't fulfilled that plan, they got a good excuse it's the same international excuse that we all use, the Biden administration used. Guess what they say? You guess it. Ding, 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 ding. COVID stopped us from implementing it. Y'all started in 2013. COVID allegedly didn't come around to almost 2020. So what the hell have you been waiting on? It was the Russian war. That just started in 2021. You can't make this stuff up. These people say the dumbest thing, and they have things that it's easy to dispel what they're saying. You can't go look at No, I looked at them. I'm seeing video after video of people seeing how corrupt the leadership over there, how the people and how the children are being treated. Little boys got big old gashes all by the eye. Little bitty babies being slapped upside the head with all kind of machetes and everything else. And, they, and they, if they think that they come on TV with this press conference, this, this, this show, this is the same thing when I have a problem with these people have these big press conferences somehow they're going to help the needy. Give the money to the needy then. Give the money to the poor. Why are you sitting on TV talking about it? Why do I invite some of the poor to these big shindigs that y'all got y'all caviar and everything else on? It's a joke. But what, what, what the Biden administration is trying to do, because it ain't Joe Biden, what the Biden administration is trying to do is because now they know that Russia and China is trying to get their foot in the door over there. You can't name one single Middle Eastern or African country that's not completely corrupt. Oh, we're corrupt too. I've already established that. But how are we going to lecture somebody else about stopping corruption when we're corrupt? When our government has been stealing from us, when our so-called representatives has been ripping us off, when we don't even have freaking free elections over here, when we have no constitutional rights over here, we're going to lecture somebody else. You know, I'm sick of the whole EU. I'm sick of the West trying to lecture everybody else on about what they need to be doing. Get your freaking house in order. Hell, you're going to lecture everybody else when your house is trash. You can't make this stuff up. But now, don't, don't you say nothing about reparations anymore because they just said they're going to give $55 billion to Mother Africa. So they're sending all the reparation money over to Africa. All you got to do is catch a plane, go to Africa. I'm sure these elected officials will share that $55 billion with you. you got, if you're female, you're going to be in a harem if you still be living. If you're a male, they got to take you out or force you to join 
an army or something. Go on back over there with your kente cloths on. We'll see how much you be talking Africa and how much you love Africa once you get back over to freaking Africa. Have you ever even done any research about you being so proud of Africa? I'm not a damn African American. I'm an American, period. All this, this, I'm a black American. Just happen to be black. If you're white, Asian, Latina, whatever, you are damn American. Always trying to come up with this new titles and stuff, making themselves feel proud. Hitting their chest as if they got something to be proud of. First of all, you have nothing to be proud of about what race you is because you didn't have a damn thing to do with it. Accomplish something and then start bragging about it, fool. But here we have the Biden administration placating uh, to the woke crowd. Look at what we're doing for the Africans. I don't give a damn what's going on in Africa. I care about the Christians being suffered. I don't want the kids to suffer, but I don't want to send $55 billion over there. Because we got people over here. If y'all got $55 billion, I go on a crusade all around America, every city, and show you who needs real help. We can get out on the streets and show you who needs real help. Don't start telling me about sending no money to a foreign country that you can't even watch the money. We got money being stole daily over here. See, the FTX thing is just one. Hillary, $6 billion came up missing when she was at the State Department. Barack Obama was just throwing money at these green energy programs. Corruption on top of corruption. Mitch McConnell has got rich of what China has been doing. And we're going to lecture somebody else on what to do. We've given the Africans money. We want to help pull them up so they're going to have a fair election. Are you freaking kidding me? I mean, are you freaking kidding me? You can't make this stuff up. You really can't.